the sovereign law of the universal President of Hallelujah. President of Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. He born the gifts of the Surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me. Hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye. In the shadow of your wings, protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirits. Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Father. We celebrate this Mass, the Mass of Monday, in the 29th week in the ordinary time of the Church. We celebrate this Mass for the intentions of all those who booked Midnight Mass with us here. We also pray in a very special way for Mr. and Mrs. Ezebua, Ezebua Kennedy and family who are praying for God to grant them their documents. We also pray in this mass for Mr. Jerry Obue who is praying for God's intervention in his work and also for the recovery of salaries owed him by for more than one year now. Dear friends in Christ, today is New Week. As we celebrate this Monday, Monday Mass, I invite all of you who are following this Mass online to type in your intentions into the comment box. Or you can simply say, my intentions are in this mass. Those of us here, I invite you to make your intentions known to God. This week is going to be a week of favor for us. God will surely remember us with a special visitation in this month, and especially in this new week. Today is Monday, the way we begin the work of the week. I pray that God will bless the work of our hands this week. Whatever we lay hand upon shall be blessed. Amen. Wherever we go, we shall encounter blessing. Amen. Our going and coming shall be blessed. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is going to be a week of favor for every one of us. Amen. Children of God, those of us who are believing God for divine healing, 
you shall be healed this week. Amen. Those believing God for favor, marital favor, may you encounter your life partner this week. Amen. Those who are pregnant, who have their their uh, a, a date given to them to deliver this week, I use Martina, Christian's wife, as a point of contact. I pray that this week God we grant you safe delivery in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All those believing God for fruit on the womb, may this be the week that God will visit you and implant in you a seed of a bouncing baby boy, bouncing baby girl, twin boys, twin girls, even triplet children, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Those of us whose projects are hot for one reason or the other, Maybe because of a lack of finances. That project, you will begin it again this week. You will revisit that site again and the work will commence. Because there will be a shocking financial favor coming your way this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Those believing God in a very special way for visa. May you receive visa favor this week in Jesus' name. Amen. Our brothers and sisters following this mass, especially those outside the country who are looking for a job. They don't have a job because they don't have documents. I pray God will bless you with the document this week. God will legalize your stay in the country where you are staying and may he give you a, a grateful employment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for freedom of all those who are in the prison. May the Holy Spirit of God visit the prisons all over our country, Nigeria, all over the world where our people are. And may God set you all free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This week, somebody has been believing God for a ride. This week, you shall buy that car. Amen. You shall buy that motor. Amen. You shall be a car owner this week in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for business breakthrough. I pray for promotion in office. Business breakthrough and promotion in office. I don't know what is your business. I don't know what is your job. But I want you to know that this week, I'm waiting for promotion in office. I'm waiting for breakthrough in business. We locate you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is a new week. May God, according to Isaiah chapter 65 verse 17, Create a new heaven and a new earth in our lives, in our businesses, in our families, in our offices. Everything that concerns you, child of God, may God turn things are new for you, for better, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I cancel every spirit of foolishness in our lives, and may God give us the spirit of wisdom this week. Whatever we do shall be wisely done. And they will bring us the fruit that we seek to get in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every demon of foolishness, Holy Ghost, fire. fire. Every demon of foolishness, Holy Ghost, fire. fire. Every demon of foolishness, Holy Ghost, fire. fire. We will not die in our foolishness. Amen. As we shall hear in the gospel today, a wealthy man died of his foolishness. I pray that all our idiosyncrasies and foolishness this week shall come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our weaknesses shall turn to strength. Our ashes shall turn to fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the blessings of God locate you and your family, child of God. And may the intentions you have presented to God in this mass, which you have typed in, in the comment box, may they never go unanswered. God of midnight mass will settle your matter. God of Father Chukudioni will remember you with a testimony. Amen. May God bless you with total salvation. Amen. The grace of holiness shall be conferred upon you and your family. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, to prepare ourselves worthily for the reception of these blessings of God this week, and also to participate actively in this mass, in a worthy way, let us first of all call to mind our sins now and ask God for pardon and mercy. I need to borrow 
Aya Maragio, Amara no Gobe, Amara Kachama, Aya Maragio, Amara no Gobe, Amara Kachama, Aya Maragio, Amara no Gobe, Aya Maragio, Amara no May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty ever living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brethren, you he made alive when you were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the cause of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience. Among these, we all once lived in the passion of our, of our flesh following the desires of body and mind. So we were by nature children of wrath, like the first of mankind. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raise us up with him, and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God. <coughs> not because of works, lest any man should boast, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared for her beforehand that we should walk in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He made us, we belong to him. He made us, we belong to Him. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. He made us, we belong to Him. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. He made us, we belong to Him. Enter His gate with thanksgiving, and His court with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. He made us, we belong to Him. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. He made us, we belong to Him. Alleluia, 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 
Alléluia. 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 is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. Luke's Gospel, chapter 12, from verse 13 to 21. At that time, one of the multitude said to Jesus, Teacher, bid my brother divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said to them, Take heed and beware of all covetousness. For a man's life does not consist in, he, in the abundance of his possession. And he told them a parable, saying, The land of a rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought to himself, What shall I do? for I have nowhere to store my crops. And he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones. And there will be store. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods, plenty, led up for many years. Take your ease, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night, your soul is required of you. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So is he who lays up treasures for himself and is not rich towards God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. By the hearing of this Gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Honor to Mary. My dear friends in Christ, in the Gospel we heard this morning, God referred to the rich man in the gospel as being foolish. This is rightly so because the man put all his trust in his possessions and never bothered to build spiritual treasures in the eternal kingdom of God. He concentrated all his efforts on material things of this world building 
and the thinking that the world is everything for him. He thought that the security is found in his world. But today, dear friends in Christ, it is important for us to realize that it is richness in the spirit by conforming to the will of God that brings about peace in our lives. This man's concentration of all his efforts in of material things of this world, thinking in his mind that is where he will find lasting joy and peace, did not come true. So we must realize that when we conform ourselves to the will of God, we shall find lasting peace. And part of that conformity with the will of God is to love God and our neighbor. Loving God and loving our neighbors is the most perfect or unique way we can conform ourselves, our own way, to the will of God. This is exactly what the rich man was negligent of in the gospel today. And that resulted to his death. Child of God, may none of us die on account of this negligence of conforming to the will of God by the love of God and love of our neighbors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wealth and the material possession is good. Nobody says, even the scripture says that money is a defender. Our people used to ask her name, Akunesho Bike. But we must never, ever take wealth or allow wealth to take the place of God in our lives or in our plan of enjoying our wealth and material possession. Keep our brothers and sisters out of it. To do that will be the highest level of foolishness. In fact, in our plan of enjoying what God has used to bless us here in this world, if we do not put our brothers and sisters, our neighbors, budgeted into the enjoyment, then we have acquired the highest level of certificate in the University of Foolishness. And that's what I call PhD in Foolishness. Because in our world today, and in the University of Foolishness, there are different levels of foolishness. There are some people who are having diploma degree in Foolishness. Those are people who say that life is long. And they used to try to buttress their argument with the, the biblical passage in the Psalms. Psalm 19 verse 10. That say that our span is 70 or 80 for those who are strong. And you see them say, you know, life is long. I'm still 20 something. I was part of 70 or 80 for those who are strong. Even if I'm not strong, at least I'll get 70. And they go about living without any consideration of others or even consideration of God. That is having diploma degree in foolishness. Because if you go to that special website, called www.death.com The principle that is very well explained there is that no one knows what will kill him, where he will die, and where he will die. That is what the www there says about death. 
that death comes at a time when no one knows. No one knows when he will die. No one knows where he will die. No one knows what will kill him. And that is why in our world today, you will see sometimes somebody will live up to 120. We write glorious exit. You see again a funeral poster. There in 28, 28 years, we will say painful exit. A youth of God. Then we still see people who die 17 or 18 years, and you see an inscription gone too soon. If life is long, why is people dying 17, dying 28, dying as early as 30 something? So to be saying that the Bible said that our span is 70 or 80 for those who are strong, and because of that, you are waiting. When you are 69 years, you will repent. Child of God, that I want you to know that that is the level one of foolishness. Diploma degree. There are some who are having bachelor's degree in foolishness. And those are people who live their life here on earth saying there is time. There is what? Time. They are telling them, come to church, repent now and believe in God. There is time. I still have plenty of time. I want you to remember that the Bible said in Psalm 19, verse 12, O oh God, make us know the shortness of our life, that we may learn wisdom of heart. In other words, anyone who does not know the shortness of his, time, of his life, and he's still, he's still saying there is time. Wasting away life. That person is simply having bachelor's degree in foolishness. Has acquired a higher level of certificate in the university of foolishness. There are some also who say to themselves, I don't need God. What I need is my wealth, my money. And every other thing will be okay. These are men and women who have graduated to master's degree in foolishness. And about such people, Psalm 14 verse 1 says, The fool says in his heart, there is no God above. May you never be a victim of a master's degree holder in foolishness by thinking that God does not matter, that what matters is our possession. That is the type of problem that this rich man of our gospel in the gospel of St. Luke chapter 12 from verse 13 to 21 we hear today have. He feels there is no God. He didn't involve God in his plan and the God quickly showed him that he is in existence by telling him, young man, today your time is up. We should know in this world, following the instruction of St. James, in James chapter 4, verse 13 to 16, that whatever we do, we should ask God to assist us. Our statement in, our li in, the, in life should be, if the Lord wills, we shall do this, and we shall do that. That is what St. James says in James chapter 4, verse 13 to 16. So whenever you are planning your day, planning your week, especially as we enter a new week, in your plan, have you involved God? Are you beginning it with Holy Mass, Midnight Mass? Are you beginning it with prayer? Or you are saying, don't worry, I know how to... Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a waiting day. I know waiting day. I know how to do business. I know who to go and meet. It is not about the person you know or the tactics you have. It is about the God you know. Partnership with God brings excellence to the works of our hand. And this week I pray that God may locate you with the grace of realizing that God is necessary in your life. Just as I am also meant to recognize that in my ministry, that God, without God, I can go nowhere. 
That is to think that you don't need God in your life. You are so wise. You don't know that you are simply a master's degree holder in the University of Foolishness. But then the people that have a PhD, the highest level of foolishness, doctorate degree holders, PhD in foolishness, are people whom God has blessed. And all that they say is, I, me, myself, enjoyment, no involvement of others. They don't think about another person joining them in enjoying it. That is when the person has reached the highest help level. The level that you must be condemned to death. And that's why this man, this rich man, in the gospel we have this, this early morning was presented with certificate of death. So, young man, or rich man, fool, be any holder in foolishness. Your time is up. You are going to die now. So that we know all those wealth of yours, whose will they be? What the readings of today, or Jesus is teaching us through this parable, is that we must learn how to involve others in our plan for enjoyment of the blessings of the earth. The earth blessings are given to us in order that we may share with our brothers and sisters. Not to have, not to have involved others in his plan or in his plan of enjoyment of his wealth brought this rich man to the level of PhD holder in foolishness. He said, what I will do? I will break my former band and build a bigger one. I will store all those my goods there. And I will say to my soul, take it ease, relax, begin to marry, enjoy. You have enough stored for many years. He did not think about other people. Child of God, charity must be a very important part of our Christian life. Reaching out to others. When we don't do that, no matter how little, God will visit us with such news that he brought to this man, the news of death. Let us detach from the possession of, of this world. Let us detach from our wealth. Let us give God the room to come in and also allow others to benefit from that which God has used to bless us. The problem with our country, in fact, many countries of the world, is that our world today is faced with the problem of individuals. Individuals building bigger bounds where they will restore what is meant for the majority of the people in the state or in the country. Nigeria is the number one country that is having this problem. We pray today that God may touch the, the mind of our rich people, politicians and government people, even business people. Some businessmen, because God has blessed them, they buy every other place over so that no other person will have opportunity even to, to do the business if, if they, they, they are even given the, the gift of trading. Child of God, let us learn to share. Let us release a little space for others to breathe in air. In every situation of our life, others must be included in our plan. If not, God may give us certificate of death. And the question will be, whose will all those wealth of yours be? You will not even know who is enjoying them. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2 says, To each one of us, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. If you read Deuteronomy chapter 24, 19, 20, and 21, you will see where God gave the children of Israel instruction. When you are harvesting your grave, when you finish harvesting, don't go back again to shake it to take the many one there. Allow it for the orphans, for the widow, for the foreigners. Always leave a little thing behind for others. If you are harvesting corn, 
Do not take the chaff and the little ones that are falling on the ground. Allow it for the, the orphans, the widows, and the less privileged. And that was exactly what um, Boaz did to Ruth in the book of Ruth. That brought him, uh, favor to Ruth. And eventually made Ruth to accept to marry Boaz. Their friends in Christ. Let us love each other. Let us love God. Let us be wise now before obituary settles the matter. Let us be wise now before obituary settles the matter once and for all. Let us destroy already obtained certificates of foolishness in those areas of our lives that we are so foolish and selfish. Let us ask God to give us the grace to put God first and consider our neighbors in the enjoyment of God's blessings in our lives. And may God bless his word in our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Almighty Father, take this bread, your people offer you. Yes, it divide us, take instead, one food, one family. There sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name for our good and good reforms in the church. Grant us Lord we pray a sincere respect for your gifts that through the purifying action of your grace we may be made cleansed by the very mysteries we set we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Through, therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. My, my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, particularly on the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred Martins, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, remember your servant, Catherine Ugoke, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her Holy Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we are there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 
those online, you're typing into the comment box, peace be with you. And as you wish peace to your colleagues online and to every one of us, I pray that God will return to you a lasting peace. Peace that material possession can never give you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Awo ya no be, awo amuru no be, awo ya no be, awo ya we tera nyoli la nya. Awo ya no be, awo amuru no be, awo ya no be, awo ya we tera nyoli la nya. Awo Jesus no be. Awo amuru no be, abara bara no be, abara ya we tera no ni la nya. Awo ya no be, awo amuru no be, awo ya no be, awo ya we tera no ni la nya. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who sacrificed himself, who used his, his life to sow a seed in order that I and you may be saved from sin. And after that, he gave us his body and blood as a food of eternal life. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lord's Supper. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof. But the Holy said the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Rock of ages, cleanse for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the world around the blood from thy river side we Save me from its guilt and pain. No delay, of my heart. Can't you feel my lost demand? Could my sin no rest my flow? Could my tears forever? Sacraments most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, God without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, God without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, God without end. Amen. United with our brothers and sisters who are following this Mass online, let us say the art of spiritual communion. Out of spiritual communion. Out of spiritual communion. My Jesus. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally now. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally now. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Those online, you're typing in the comment box, come at least spiritually into my heart. Or you can simply say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself to you. And unite myself to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I want to thank every one of you for your active participation in this Mass. Those who are online, share the Mass now. Share it on your walls, on your platforms, on your timeline on Facebook and other social media platforms. As you do so, may the Almighty God bless you with special New Week favor, New Week blessing, New Week anointing in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As you share, you are communicating the new week prayer to other people. As they say Amen, may that Amen bring you a blessing Amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pray that God will bless this week for us and make it a joyful week for all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy New Week to you all. Same, Same to you, Father. Father. Those who have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, Go to YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Chukudio Mimi Adoration TV. Chukudio Mimi Adoration TV. And try to watch the previous ones if you are new there. Watch our previous uh, postings there so that we can get more uh, view time to be able to stream online on YouTube. God bless you for your support. Those of us who want to book mass, you can send a message to our, our, our messenger on Facebook or WhatsApp on Facebook. I want to book mass. I want to book mass. As you do so, we will reply you and tell you how to go about it. Some of us already know how to go about it. May God bless you as you prepare for booking mass for the month of November. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. This Mass is ended. 
Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Happy New Week once again. Same to you, Father, in tonight. Holy Queen, we bend before thee with our purity divine. Make us love the way in body. Make us worthy to be thine. Bless, O Lord, our hearts and mind, and grant that as we leave your house, we may continue to be aware of your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Vincent de Paul, pray for us. St. Justin de Jacobis, pray for us. Our Lady, Mother of Miraculous Medal, pray for us. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.